Hi, welcome to Chili's. Don't ever say that again. Hello, welcome to a Boys Who Dared podcast. We'll be talking about The Boy Who Dared. It's the only book we ever talk about. This is the best book in existence, period. Book Thief, get out of here. With the book information, we have Brandon uh, telling us what the book's about and Lucas and Oliver supporting. The book we will be discussing today is The Boy Who Dared, which was written by Susan Campbell Bartoletti. What is the book about? Let's say I have to read, I have not read the book, but I was supposed to for a literature project. Um, what should I know? I don't know, but I know my good pal Lucas knows. Right, Lucas? Lucas, you're supposed to be up! <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, we're shooting the podcast right now. My bad, my bad. Okay. Hi, I'm Lucas. I think the book was fantastic and it was very engaging and interesting. The book is set in Hamburg, Germany, and the main character is a boy named Helmuth. He's 14 at the beginning. He's a very courageous character and he breaks the law to tell the truth. He's the boy who dared. Hey, Brandon, hit me up with the water. Got you, dog. Pure Life Nestle is the best water in town. You can get it anywhere at S- select stores. <laughs> Great product. You should buy it. Get it now. Thanks, dog. Now I'll totally be ready for the test. Now for the... Now for the overview. Helmuth has internal and external conflicts. Hitler rules Germany with an iron fist, so basically if you didn't like him, you'd be killed. Helmuth, a young, smart German boy, basically hates Hitler. His whole family knows he hates Hitler, except Hugo, which is his stepfather. This could be an external and internal conflict, as he doesn't want to tell his family he despises what the Nazis are doing, but it can be an external conflict because all his friends love Hitler and they love the city, so they don't want to say anything bad. Another internal conflict is that he is sad because his brother is at war fighting for a country that he knows he hates. Cool. That's it. Just nothing else? I mean, I, I guess so. Why, I don't understand why it's a big deal. Get off my face, dude. Interesting. Now that I've been questions of Oliver, look out, he'll have some dope questions. Did you know that Helmut's parents are actually the embodiment of German people, with Stefan being the side that blindly followed Hitler and the Nazis, while his mother was on the side that did not believe the Nazis were, what the Nazis were doing was right, but didn't do anything about it? Cool. Did you also know that his brother joined the army even though he did not believe in what he was fighting for and most of the soldiers were like that too? Isn't that motivating? I know. You have to tell me again. I mean, dude, I got you. I know what's up. (laughs) Okay? Okay. Did you also know that Helmus was a smart boy and a fantastic writer who probably could have had Great books, but instead was hung at 18, and a lot of artists and writers got the same treatment when they made the same thing that was a little bit fit against the Nazi beliefs. Isn't that just beautiful? No, that really isn't at all. Like, it's really not. Hold up. Did you even read the book? Oh. Uh- This book is a good short book to get into if you're looking, if you're not looking to get too invested in a story, but still be intrigued by it. The characters are not complicated, but still have a deeper meaning behind them. You will fall in love with the main character. We recommend this book to anyone looking for a good short book. And also, really wants to know about what's happening to people in Germany during World War II. Whoa, dude. I didn't know you had that in you. Dang. Now rating with Brandon and Oliver. I have to give this book a three-star rating. Um, you know, it was a good book, but there could have been more thought 
put into it as the characters were somewhat bland and the writing in the writing style was a little too simple. Agreed. Helmuth was a good character, but the story was too short to really make me care about him. And all the other characters had really no personalities. But it was a really good story about standing by your moral beliefs and not getting into peer not giving into peer pressure and not being afraid of punishments of standing out. Yo, Lucas, what do you think? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to the Boys Who Dare podcast. I mean, thanks for watching, you know. I mean, it was pretty bad, but thanks for watching. You remember to, just, just remember to stay cool and stay in school. Do your homework. Uh, bye. That was the worst thing ever. I can't believe it. <laughs> Dude, I really, I mean, she, do you think she'll give us a good grade? It's an F. Yeah, probably. Aww, like, behind the seat, maybe. I don't even think we did the podcast right. Yeah. I mean, what? Oh, dude, it, it's, we're still oh, gone. The camera's still wait, on. Wait. Turn